Want an even more in-depth look at the toy in this review? An entire gallery of images can be found at Toy News International. Just click the link in this video's description. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rat King. That's right, another classic villain from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lore comes to the Nick Turtles toy line. He comes in the standard Nick Turtles blister card packaging, featuring that bright green and purple color scheme at the top, and fully showcasing the figure within the window underneath. The back of that packaging gives us a bio for the Rat King character from the new cartoon series. And underneath that shows you a selection of all figures currently available in the Nick Turtles toy line. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this new Rat King figure outside of the packaging. Now I will say that upon first seeing this new version of the Rat King in the animated series, I was a bit turned off because his look does seem to be a little more drastically different than the Rat King that I was used to from when I was a kid. But after watching the episode through, I really enjoyed this new version of the character, and I think it translates pretty well into action figure form. Now the big difference about this particular version of Rat King is that he's wearing this large brimmed hat and this tattered black trench coat. But underneath that trench coat, you'll notice that he is still wearing the mummified type wraps that I'm used to seeing from the classic Rat King. So really the look's not too different, it's just got some new embellishments such as that trench coat there. The sculpt of the figure is pretty decent. Now he's not too colorful because he's mostly just wearing this solid black coat and there's no additional paint job on it. It's just molded in black plastic, so it's a little plain looking. But underneath that, you'll notice that he's got kind of some faded white wraps that are wrapped around some really wretched looking green skin. You can see his green fingers sticking out from underneath the wraps. You can also see his green toes also sitting on top of what looks like little sandals. And then we come to his face sculpt, which is kind of hidden by the little collar on his coat there, but you can kind of pull it back and you can see how cool the face sculpt really is. Now, it does need a little bit more painted detail. I feel like a wash or something would have really brought out all of those sculpted details so much better than what we've got here, but you can see it's just molded in this green plastic, and his face is really sunken in and decayed, and you can see he's got some black bits where his teeth are. Um, you can also see kind of his black hair sticking out from underneath the wraps that are covering his eyes. So he's got this very cool almost mummified or zombie look which is really neat looking and the sculpt is pretty good here. Again, a better paint job would have just brought out all of those details even better. Now sitting on his shoulders you can see that there are some black unpainted rats that are part of the sculpt. Now, I don't mind that the rats are part of the sculpt. I think that's pretty cool and it's neat to always have little rats just sitting on his arms and his shoulders. But I really wish they were painted. If Playmates would have gone the extra mile and painted these rats that are sitting on his shoulders, I feel like it would have looked so much better. But unfortunately, this is kind of a normal thing for Playmates, especially in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. So I like the rats being part of the sculpt. I just wish they were painted. Now, articulation-wise, you're not going to get a lot of poses out of this guy. It's very basic, especially since he's wearing that large coat over his body there. Now, the coat is kind of a rubbery plastic, so it can be moved around, but again, it's going to hinder his movement. So here's what we got. The head is able to turn left and right and does slightly rock up and down. The arms are ball jointed, so you can move them outwards, forwards, and backwards in a pretty good range of movement, but there's no cuts in the elbows or anything. You just have swivels at the wrists. Of course, his coat is completely covering his midsection. There's no waist swivel, really. You can kind of tell that there's one under there, but it doesn't work because of the coat. And then underneath the coat, you can notice that his legs are in a pre-pose where he's got those legs kind of bent. Again, another thing that we've seen plaguing Ninja Turtles since the 80s. So the legs are only able to go forwards and backwards, and they do have the ability to go outwards as well with hinge joints, but the coat is going to limit the movement. 
Plus, since they're molded in a certain stance, there's really only way you can get them to stand anyway. So, if you're looking for a highly articulated Rat King figure, this is definitely not going to be the one for you. He's not going to get a lot of different poses out of him, but as far as the way he looks, I do like it. I think it's pretty nice looking. Now, he does come with a few accessories, and I do really like those. First, he does come with his walking staff. Uh, you can see it's just kind of molded in brown plastic. It does have a little bit of sculpted etching on there. Uh, it's really gummy, so it's going to be very, very soft plastic. Much softer than, like, Donatello's bow staff. His left hand is molded to hold on to that walking staff, so you can put that in his hand there, and it really does help kind of complete the overall look of the character as he appeared in the cartoon series. Now, I really love his second accessory. I was complaining about the unpainted rats on his shoulders, but I do love the fact that he includes a standalone rat that is fully painted. He's white, with little red beady eyes, and a nice pink tail sticking out. This is just a really cool accessory to have. You can have him sitting in, like, the open palm on his hand. You can have him kind of, you know, attacking the turtles and freaking them out. It's just a really neat accessory. And, I don't know, am I crazy for saying it'd be really cool to get, like, a whole bunch of these little guys in a pack on their own? I think it'd be really cool to have an army of rats to pose around my Rat King figure. Alright, guys, it's comparison time. Here's this new Nick Turtles Rat King standing alongside the vintage version. Now, I really love the vintage figure, and you can see that there is quite a drastic difference in the coloring and the sculpts and the styles of these two figures. But, they do still maintain that look with the wraps around the figures. They're just done in different ways here. I also think it's funny and worth noting that their leg stances are pretty much exactly the same, just mirrored. The legs are in the opposite poses, but it's the same stance. Now, I don't have the 2003 version of Rat King to show off in action figure form, but I can tell you that it's a lot closer to what we've got here because he was wearing the white wraps, not the brown ones like the vintage figure. Just didn't have the trench coat and the hat like the new one. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the brand new Rat King figure. Once again, I think my only real gripes with this guy is the fact that he's really lacking a really good paint job that would help bring out the look of this character even more. If Playmates could invest a little bit more into their paint ops, I really think that could help the overall look of a lot of these figures. But I do love the sculpt, and I'm not so bothered by the lack of articulation, I guess just because that's what I've come to expect from this line. I know that these figures are not going to be overly poseable, so I guess I've sort of accepted it by now. I do think he's a really cool looking character. I've accepted his new look, and I think it translates pretty well into this figure. He looks great when you pose him around with, you know, Splinter, so you can have him ha ha using his powers on Splinter to attack the turtles. Fun stuff like that, and it's just really great to add another villain to the Nick Turtles collection. So the Rat King is showing up on store shelves right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.